The Honourable Leader of the Opposition. This Prime Minister is neither worth the cost nor the corruption. We know that he illegally interfered to block the criminal prosecution of a multinational liberal link corporation that had stolen from Africa's poorest people. But now we know that he w was involved in blocking the RCMP from investing the criminality of his conduct. He held back cabinet documents. So we invited the top Mountie to testify on this cover-up, and he and his co-conspirators and the NDP silenced them the RCMP commissioner and prevented him from testifying. Will the Prime Minister stop the cover-up and let the Mounties testify? Yeah. Yeah. Mr. Speaker, the member opposite well knows that both the RCMP and CBSA's Professional Integrity Division are investigated. The CBSA has also launched an internal audit to look into contracting at the agency and has increased oversight processes when it comes to contracting. The Honourable Leader of the Opposition. Mr. Speaker, uh, the question was about the SNC-Lavalin criminal investigation, not the Rivecan app criminal investigation. I can, I can understand there's so many criminal investigations that <laughs> can get confused sometimes, but uh, he sure managed to know enough about them to block from any scrutiny. He deprived the police of cabinet documents that may have led to criminal charges against him, and now he's depriving a parliamentary committee from investigating it. The question is, yes or no, will he let the commissioner of the RCMP testify about his blockage of cabinet documents in the criminal investigation of the SNC-Lavalin scandal? Yeah. The Right Honourable Prime Minister. The opposition leader is bringing up matters that were duly settled four years ago. It's obvious that they have no vision for the future of this country, no plan to move Canada forward, and nothing to offer Canadians except cuts, austerity, and partisan attacks. Well, one thing we will cut is the Arrive Can app. The matter is under, also under criminal investigation. It was an, an app we didn't need didn't work and was about 500 times more expensive than it should have been. Yes. We now know that a one of the contractors that got paid submitted detailed document, documentation on a company that didn't even exist. We know the Prime Minister blocked criminal investigations into his SNC-Lavalin scandal. Will he agree, yes or no, to cooperate with the police in the Arrive Can criminal investigation? Yes. Yes. Mr. Speaker, as I just said to the opposition leader, that when it comes to contracting, investigations are ongoing and processes have been updated. But he doesn't much care about facts or process, just his hidden agenda driven by ideology. An ideology rooted in denying that the government had to act fast in a once in a century moment to keep Canadians safe. He doesn't want the pandemic. He doesn't want to talk about his behavior during the pandemic and following it. He will continue to try and distract, deflect, based on his ideology, based on the members of his team. It's very telling that the Conservative Party would choose not to prioritize Canadian safety. He accuses me of distracting. The question was about the criminal investigation into the Arrive Can app. And what does he do? He tries once again to divide Canadians in order to distract from the costs and corruption that he has imposed upon yes. them. So I asked a very simple question. We now know that a program he created is under criminal investigation. Will he, yes or no, cooperate with the police. Mr. Speaker, as I said, both the RCMP and CBSA's Professional Integrity Division are investigating, and the CBSA has also launched an internal audit to look into contracting at the agency. But once again, Mr. Speaker, when the Leader of the Opposition talks about dividing Canadians, he doesn't actually want to accept that over 80 percent of Canadians chose to get vaccinated during the pandemic, Mr. Speaker, and he continues to play divisive games. 
games. He continues to play divisive games to try uh, and divide Canadians on a matter core to public health and public safety. We have always stood up for the safety of Canadians while he chooses to wear a tinfoil hat, Mr. Speaker. I do encourage you once again to take note of my declaration from last week encouraging members to make statements, to avoid the statements which are, qui peut déranger les procédures. That could disrupt the proceedings of the House of Commons.